Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Victory at Sea Pacific, episode number 32. Just as I mentioned it might happen, I am recording this on the tail end of the last video. I did take a couple minutes off camera just to collect my thoughts. I noticed that Task Force 31 here is exactly next to Task Force 31. I mean, uh, it's first SAG I should say. So we're going to incorporate these two together. Just merge them on in. Get them to rejoin. That's I think that's a good thing. Now, this does have one <laughs> Northampton class by itself. I mean, one lone Northampton to act as, uh, I guess, anti-aircraft, or maybe she's just going to end up being a, a um, tank. Um, something to absorb shots. <laughs> She might be the the target practice for like the enemy battleships if we end up getting going toe to toe with the uh, Japanese battleships. So that's what I think is going to happen. Is she'll be used as kind of like a decoy or you know a realistic target that they, that they have to you know is very threatening still. But I'm kind of you know this is not the kind of speech you give that ship. You are the decoy. <laughs> Good luck. So anyway, let's get on to it. I think the Task Force 22 is going to move west and just just scout all these ports so that nobody else has to do it in the future. Um, we can almost do that from the protection of Port Moresby. And I don't know, I still don't know what's going on here, but there are a lot of like opportunities to raid things, and I know that there's also going to be a lot of ships, or I'm um, sorry, airplanes dropping stuff on us. But I'm just going to be okay with all of that with the hope aha uh -huh, speaking of task force 22 she her repairs are done with the hope that uh, the anti-aircraft situation continues to be really in our favor so here we go the big move out and are you leaving anything in Guadalcanal yeah you actually are so both of these places have a little bit of supply which could be used if you know in worst case worst case scenario if you need something there's something available uh, for example, for these three Corvettes. Now, uh, somebody mentioned as well that you can skip these torpedo boats westward just by using this tug to redeploy fuel. Let's go ahead and try it. If I can, I'd love these torpedo boats to be the new defensive uh, two. So midway, I don't know what was happening with that spotter business for a while there. I guess she actually did get repaired. You know what? I'm actually I'm comfortable with this. Three. Let's still remove one of these Dauntlesses in favor of another. So yeah, okay. I see what the game has done. It makes everything neat. This is good. Oh my gosh. Victory at Sea developers. You know, you talk about it, how they're continuing to develop the game. This is great. They make you repair it in the hangar before you can use it. It's fantastic. Now, does it repair in the hangar? I don't know. Let's leave this in the hangar just as a, a, a test. But if that's the case, I need to go around and start building all kinds of aircraft all over the place. Do we have any here? Oh my god, we have really old Dauntlesses here. But yeah, this is great. This is fantastic. I really like that they've done this. This makes a lot of sense. This means you can't spam aircraft. So hooray, hooray, hooray. Very good news. And it still, I think, it still makes sense to me that you can quickly just swap out aircraft. So it doesn't have to work that way for uh, uh, carriers, is what I'm saying. Let's get my beverage back over here. Okay, so that's really good news. Now everyone is happy. I don't know, you know, in, my, in the back of my head, I wonder if they're watching this series. And that's where <laughs> they saw this and they're like... This guy Tortuga, he's abusing the mechanics. And they came up with a really good, I think that's a really good way of doing it. Just make it so that they have to have been there long, as much time as it would take to repair them. Um, and then you have to actually choose to have a preserve. Now, should now the cost of these aircraft be decreased a bit? I think so. I, I really think so. I mean, look, come on, nobody is spending one, one, are you saying one B-24 Liberator costs the same as an entire Clemson Destroyer? No, 
cannot be. You can probably buy, I don't, look at, I'm just throwing numbers out in the air. I don't know it. Oh. Okay, new task. Go save this convoy. Five convoy ships. What kind of ships are you? I imagine that they're just Liberty, yeah. Let's go into the combat screen here. Hmm, which side are we being attacked from? I don't even know which side we're being attacked from. I mean, we, we just spotted them, so they could be from anywhere. Um, I guess I want them as far over to this side as possible, because this is closest to Task Force 22. Are they going to be able to survive? I do highly doubt it. Highly, highly, highly doubt that they're going to get out of there. But we're going to redeploy them just immediately away this way. Wait. Yes. Turn. Okay. Maybe they should all just start going off in their own direction. Every man for himself. Because unfortunately, I I know the turn order works. So we'll get this guy just make all speed to try to save them. Not something I want to send my destroyers, I mean my submarine against, obviously three destroyers, pretty capable. And this gives some, this lends some credit or puts some weight to the idea that maybe these escort carriers should be used. If we just position them um, all around, all around, that's kind of an expensive investment, but yeah, I mean obviously the Japanese are getting behind our lines and now that we have Guadalcanal and Tulagi, I mean maybe one of these does deserve to get upgraded to a minor port just to allow us to have, and probably in that case Tulagi, just to allow us to have a little bit better coverage. Um, yeah, so this should be traded for that. Yeah, just to have a little better coverage and let's actually get you to be a spotter. Ah, like you are, perfect. Okay, so now we have spotting capability there, spotter there. And spotted there. Very good. I don't think that this group is going to survive, but hey, you're delivering. What are you guys doing, by the way? You're delivering to Marshall Islands? I don't want to lose you. I really don't want to lose you. That's going to be frustrating. We're going to lose that one, I'm pretty sure. There's not really much else in the way to defend. Um, well, yeah, it'd be really nice to upgrade something. Probably one of these, and then Marshall Islands would be upgraded, and then if we were using a lot of Catalinas, which I think we're going to end up using. So we have three cat. Wait, it's kind of weird. Let's get. Uh, I know the airbase is not ready yet, so let's see how the Catalina thing works. Let's put two Catalinas in the reserve for now. By the way, Wake Island, what's your stat? No, Midway, I should say. What's your status? So. Let's do it this way. We know that that one has been put there. Let's swap one out. Let's see if this one finishes repairing before this one does. They should be more or less on the same time. Uh, and if it does, then we know that they have to be in this, like, in the actives part to actually get repaired, which does not make any sense, of course, but you never know. We have nothing else to do. What the hell? We have nothing better to do, so we're gonna watch these guys try to get out of here. Good luck! <laughs> I, I know that I could just send them all off in all directions, but I'm not gonna be too crazy about it. I'm gonna try to get them to go more or less the same direction. which hopefully is the direction of being saved. <laughs> this fleet's still a good ways away. Maybe they haven't spotted us. No, nope, they spotted us. They have spotted us. And I 
highly doubt we're going to be able to get there in time. Um, okay, so let's get this group to just move this way. In fact, I probably will just offload. Let's do this. Let's do something like that. Now that we know that there's trouble in the waters. Hey, Corvettes, come back and save me. Save me. <sighs> okay, well, it's going to be a bummer to lose those, but... Just to three destroyers, too. If we, if, see, if these were lib uh, victory class, we would actually stand a chance of defeating them. So what are we going to lose? This is the same thing. Five, and this is five as well. So we're going to lose 1250 of everything. And 14, oh, these can carry fuel, but they just can't carry a lot of fuel. Show me a tanker here. So 4,500. So those carried 250 each, which means that six of these are carrying 1,500, and the tankers are carrying 1,000 each. Okay, so they can carry 250 or 1,000 for the tankers, but it looks like the tankers can cannot carry anything else. Okay, Task Force 32 is done. This is at Pearl Harbor. So let's just make sure that the upgrades for this, these are all done. They are. Okay, good. So let's separate them off. We want the Atlanta to split off. She's going to go do, uh, be a part of the Northampton stuff. So we'll actually just get her to move and repair at Midway. Stage there. Whoops. Sorry. That's what you are going to do. You are going to go... Midway. And where's the other group? 32, 32, right? It was 32. Yeah. You guys are going to. I guess eventually we want them to rendezvous with my current two aircraft carrier group so that we can fight two. I mean, if we find Japanese uh, carrier task force with three, we can actually be matched with them. But for the moment, let's get you to completely swap up your. Yeah, what's going on here? So, go ahead and park back in there. And now, yes, perfect. So I think that this does not, I'm imagining it doesn't require me to repair them. It better not. Okay, four, let's swap these four out. Like, what, what does this mean? All right, it, it is, might be bugged. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is bugged or not. <laughs> I'm going to do it, just not sure what's going to happen here. <laughs> we actually can't afford the next one. Okay, wow, this is, this is, this is a problem. I will come back to that. <laughs> How quickly will those be repaired? They said they're destroyed. It's like you'd have to... So for carriers, I don't think it makes sense. I mean, I guess, wait, I guess there is a, a thing they're trying to stop here. They're trying to stop you from instantly replenishing your shit, your aircraft. Um, and then just launching them as it, you can park a carrier by any airbase and then have the infinite uh, fighter, bomber, whatever spawn again. So yeah, that would not be good. I guess they could, they could be trying to work that out. I don't know what you're doing, but can you please make all haste? This is like critical. I don't sense your uh, urgency in the matter. Oh, okay. So this is going to join with these this group. So now we have two destroyer leaders. Good. That's good. These destroyers might end up being tasked somewhere else. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm really not sure how this is going to work. Huh. All right, well, this will be a trial, whatever, trial and error thing. Because that means we're going to have to start buying, buying a lot of things for CTF Able, who really does need to get underway quickly. <laughs> I just cannot stand it. Wait. 
it makes sense if you can order them ahead of time to get ready and then you get the money back after you actually dock. That's still okay to me, but it'll be frustrating just this one time that when we're trying to learn that, that we have this, these, you know, aircraft, this aircraft carrier is stuck here doing nothing until we figure out what the mechanic is. If the mechanic was explained, I would be happy, but it, yeah, that's, that's basically what I'm trying to say is it's, the mechanic is not known. It's a wild card. We're just left guessing. Okay, well, speed up we go. Uh, I think these guys are going to be lost, so we're gonna just going to have to write them off. What in tarnation are you doing? A little surprised that they haven't lost yet. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's take a look at this midway thing. That one's still being, yep, they're both being repaired still. Okay, so it does take a, a fair amount of time. We're on April 17th. See how much longer we have to go before anything gets repaired there. These guys happen to be in range in Numea. Uh, these are bombers. Let's do it. Why not, right? We can harass them. Uh, I don't want to load up anything else, so... Oh, this could definitely strike them. We'll go for it. Why not, right? Whatever's in our capability, however we can defend these transports. So it really means that these transports ought to be moving more south. A little bit more south than west. I mean, I probably should just be moving them west by southwest exactly to get them just up north of that island. Look, I'm, this is very, very optimistic that we can make it that far before we're hunted down. But regardless, we're going to keep tabs on them with these bombers. Oh my gosh. So I see. Task Force 22 decided to go all the way that way. Okay, well, fair enough. I think it's worth it. I, I know that it's a lot to dispatch at four, two cruisers and two destroyers to take out three destroyers but I think it has to be done and I am thinking maybe we need one off um, carrier like escort carrier groups one off like one escort carrier and maybe paired with like an Atlanta just a pairs just in operating in pairs they can kind of travel around and sink these roaming bands of destroyers or you know they, they actually would be capable of sinking roaming bands of a lot of other stuff why are you guys in such a bad mood? Okay, your morale is going up. The morale for everyone is going up. So it's it's bad, but it, it will get it'll get better. It'll get better. So this group is going to be the one who come in and I think wait, what's what's going on with the sag? Did you already No. Er. Here we go. You dock. Resupply the Marshall Islands. I don't think they've actually clamped there. Yeah, they're going to clamp there now. I must have given them a bad order. I mean, that's a lot of... They've actually eluded... They have eluded them completely! Oh my gosh! It's a miracle! Well, we're not going to let them go. Maybe just go back. Okay, let's pause. This is amazing. We got very lucky. For seconds, okay, right now. Okay, let's give the order there. The marching orders. We are given the orders. We can imagine them setting um, sail with a, a large swath of amphibious landing vessels as well. Huge, a huge task force. And their job is to take Truck Lagoon. That's right, we're going to go after Truck Lagoon. We're going to strike the Japanese where it hurts. So I think this group is going to be sent... No, we do want Marshall Islands. 
Maybe Task Force 22 ends up kind of escorting Convoy How? Oh, these guys are still, that's it's pretty cool that Numea can actually hit them from here. In fact, I don't need this ASW, might as well load these guys up as bombers as well. Let's get one more bomber, and we don't need them, but because, you know, our convoy's already saved. And here's first sack, okay, good. View on map, continue. Ah! Oh, wow, much closer than expected. Okay, we got a lot of action going around. What is going on? Okay, so they have to start from scratch. Okay. Um, yeah, so we need to go sync these guys first. So Task Force 22 will be, like, absolutely the most decorated task force in the Pacific, probably in the entire war. <laughs> they are so, so busy. They just end up being right where all the action is. <laughs> How's the... Oh, they're repaired. Okay. And we have a few more war bonds to throw around now. No, 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 sorry. This. Okay, so we need to get rid of... Oh, man, these Hellcats, they cost the same as the Wildcats, though. No, they're five more. So we can only get one at a time still. So this will only last until we're absolutely out of points. <laughs> we're gonna spend every last dollar doing this, as, so just to get as many as possible going as at, at a time. One, two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. So we have 11 right now. What do we want? 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. So we want... I think we want 12. I think we'll do a 50-50 split. So one more. Which I think is actually the limit is of what we can do exactly. The limit of what we can do anyway. Okay, good. So the next thing we want are um, hell divers, and we can start getting these swapped in for any of the remaining wildcats, and then we can see exactly how many wildcats uh, we have. Should be none left, basically. All right, this is not so bad. That didn't take too long. Let's go over to the B24s after this and see if they've repaired. This is kind of fun, learning the new mechanics. I have to say, this is this is really good. I'm like very happy with this. I, I like this system quite a lot. Unfortunately, the Dauntlesses are going to put me out of contention. Let's take out this Devastator. <laughs> we definitely don't want the Devastators. <laughs> Let's get that get rid of that one, even though it gives us the least amount of points. Okay, this is not too bad. It just means that you have to stay docked for a little bit of time. And as I said, let's go over to the midway. Now that one's still repairing, and that one's still repairing. Okay, so let's see how long it takes to get those going. All right, so we didn't end up losing that convoy. Boy, I was really, really dreading losing it. And I will actually take command for this fight because uh, it's very easy for our destroyers to get too close. It's basically the same thing as I was worried about in Guadalcanal. Destroyers getting too close, getting themselves killed. And even though it is only against enemy destroyers, and we're not going to have too much maneuvering ground, unfortunately. This is kind of a really good area for just for. Well, I guess if we go on this side, we won't we won't have to worry about torpedoes. <laughs> That's exactly what I was worried about: is kind of penning ourselves in and not having a place, a way to react against torpedoes. But no, no, I, I think we'll stay on the open. We'll we'll stay on the north side. So instead of making our battle line running north south, north to south. Um, We'll go west to east and gives us all the space we need. We can double back. We can go north to you know, flee any kind of torpedo runs. All right, this is good. I'm really happy with this episode. 25 minutes into it already. The last vestiges of the <laughs> carrier task force sunk up there. All right. This is ready to go, and unfortunately, unfortunately, we just don't have the money. Oh boy, I really, we really need the money, don't we? 
How are we doing on this? This already has its six victory. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna make a lot of those. Uh, this one has Liberty, six days, 19 days. Okay, this one's already got these queued. Well, we could cancel them and then redo them. And I think I'm gonna have to do just that. Get 5819. Okay, good. So I'm gonna have to go back and do these. <laughs> I need the money though. <laughs> so let's do it. Let's go to the carrier and start exchanging these. Okay, so um, forget about whatever this is. I don't know what she's doing. We need, these are one for one swaps though. The good news. Uh, so we shouldn't be losing any money actually. So the, the green must be the damage. Okay, that makes sense. And now the expensive part. Okay, so these are just, they say destroyed. No, white, no, oh, okay, are these green. No, the green is, means it's, huh. I'm not exactly sure how that works because I've never seen these being repaired. All right, now it's gonna get very expensive very quickly, but it's mandatory. We absolutely want these Hellcats. I think we can, I mean, we can do the whole plane. We have enough. Do I want to go? I'm just gonna leave them the way they are. This is gonna take a while. I probably should have done this off camera. One, two, three, maybe not. That was not too bad. One, two, three. Okay, now we're down to two at a time. Still okay. Now, what is this, the last one? Double check. So this is going to be one, two, three. So this is, f oh yeah, these guys are light. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So these hold 20 total. I want to maybe go 50-50 on one of these. I think that's what I was talking about doing already. So n you, Lexington, can carry more, but Saratoga... Yeah, I already switched Saratoga over to be exactly like this anyway. So yeah, we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna leave her a little bit less fighter heavy and a little bit more bomber heavy. And these are one to one swaps, so we shouldn't have any problems. And Saying that one of them is still, ah, there we go. And I think, I, I, I don't know what, they must have like a hidden modifier. It says destroyed, but they're not. They repair like instantly. So it seems like the game actually does know that they're not totally destroyed. They don't need to be repaired to totally from scratch. Oh God, one at a time now. I guess that means we won't make it because we can only build six of them like this before we run out. No. Last one. And no money. All right, good. One left. Darn it, we just wait one day and then we can do it. All right. Wait one day. Just give us... Up oh, there it is. Whoop. It's got... We got it. Change this guy out. Hey, I guess it's technically there, but not. Come on. It says 35. Must be rounding. Come on, come on, come on. All right, whatever, we'll come back. We've got bigger fish to fry. I mean, literally we have a, a battle looming in the horizon and I'm trying to wait for one more war bond to come in. You'd think Uncle Sam could give me an advance. Now, did I actually actually not? Is there one still queued here? Yeah. And how many days is that? I have six days. Okay, we'll, we'll just cancel this guy's construction as well. I wanted to leave the top one on the... I don't, just somehow if I forgot, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's go over here and get them, get those guys set up. So they are all still 
and trouble. Okay, that's the that Lexington, but we also want the Saratoga, who has one Wildcat. We want to exchange. And I won't leave port until they're done, because I'm, I'm a little nervous that just sending them off. Now, we can actually start swapping these if we want, but I'm going to save the War Bonds, even if it is going to stall the Hornet's appearance into action. I just want that cushion, just in case. We are just about to go into, into that fight. And that'll actually give us some more War Bonds that we can throw around, so this is good. I don't think destroyers are going to give us very much, but they'll give us something. we go. There's three. Now there's two. Okay, so they were successful. Moderately successful. Alright, there it is. So we actually want to move forward with these because <laughs> we don't want to waste time. So I guess forward in this case is going to be, first of all, go to the line formation, and then move like this, and full speed ahead. Oh boy, can I get this order first? They were, were they looking for us? What kind of bombers? Are they headed this way? Not exactly sure what's going on. All right, well, let's enter this combat, make sure we don't lose any of our just cruisers to this mess. They appear to be content to engage. I don't know. Yeah, I think that they're moving forwards. Okay. By all means, we'll kick up a, a spotter as well, just so we can get eyes on. Hopefully this is not another, another spotter which gets lost forever. <laughs> and is it time to go general, uh, sorry, battle stations? I mean, we haven't given that order yet. We will, but let's give it right. I mean, now that we understand how to do it, we don't even have to give that order for the destroyers. They can stay on their, like, smiley face lives. Let's get up to, you know, probably 2,600 at least. Let's go actually just go up to 3,000. I feel like you're pretty safe above 3,000. So, speed four, there's nothing else for us to do. Actually, we'll watch the, the Kingfisher. I think she'll be above 1,000 at least by the time she gets over target. Yep, there they are. Let's have her just kind of linger off to the side, give us our spotting. And there's the islands I almost used as a defense. Oh, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't realize we're this close. We should almost be in range. We're already at uh, battle stations, okay. So, split off this way, split off this way. You guys, Craven, you're gonna come backwards even. I wanna go basically 90 degrees t to them. What's, uh, what kind of range? Yeah, they're just about in range, so yeah, this is a good idea. Why risk it? We can go a little bit more diagonal forward, though. I mean, you guys, we'll just give a movement order right behind. Just come to a stop. And you are in battle stations. Good. Okay. So we should be able to fire weapons. Everything looks good. Just wait for the carnage. Maybe I'll even control the Portland. She turning as she goes? She is. Uh, 
that's probably going to miss. Maybe not. Might be just dead on. Ah, oh, just missed. All right, well, let's turn a little bit closer in. They are not. We're going to wiggle, wiggle waggle the other way. Zigzag, also known also known as the zigzag. And our destroyers will just keep close company. Whoop, got a spike. Uh, that second shot's gonna miss. I think it'll fall also behind. Oh, heck, what the heck? Never mind. Wait, that was prob. No, that was from the. That was my shot, and I was a little bit behind. First one, I believe, was the AI. Getting some good hits, getting some good hits on the Yugiri. Second one, it looks like, oh man, one of those hit. Close miss, I guess. They say it almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, but add naval combat to that list. Probably want to pursue a little bit more aggressively. I mean, that was over pretty quickly. I mean, if our rear guns are firing, just that's the limit we want is just to keep our rear guns firing. That's just a little too little. Slightly more. Get those rear guns. Oh, those rear guns are firing. Good. Oh, got some damage in. Good. Very good. Yeah, this will be over very quickly. That is amazing that those shots missed. Next. I like that we're not focusing too much fire. They've done some good zigzag. I wonder if our accuracy decreases. <laughs> not just at night, but... There we go. That should do it. Got it. Alright, very good. So, let's rejoin formation and take off general quarters from everyone. Good. And get you guys to run down the next fleet. And there is another one to go. Just one destroyer left on that one, that'll be pretty easy. Maybe I don't even have to fight that one, but you know, just to be safe, I probably will. These bombers do look like they're headed for this task force. It's too bad I can't have an, any bombers ready to go. How's this fleet of Midway doing? Okay, that's a lot of repair jobs. So that, that, I don't know how this works. Not quite yet. Helldiver, 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 Helldiver. Hellcat. So one Hellcat is not with the other ones? Is it like in the wrong mission? Maybe. Oh, they're slowly repairing. Okay, so maybe I don't have to do that. Maybe... Huh. Yeah, it is a fighter. I don't know why. I don't know why it's listed the wrong way. So maybe I don't have to um, replace the old broken ones anymore. Maybe they actually will just repair on their own. Which is completely fine by me. It's less, less micromanagement, really. And again, congrats to the devs of this game. They're showing that there's, you know, real advancement going on here. But holy cow, it's already been 39 minutes. I can't believe it. It was like a lot of fun. I, I was really excited about this mechanic, and I, I guess I still am. We have these, sh you know, airplanes being replaced. Yeah, they are actually repairing slowly over time. Hey, it's working! This game, game may have been better off released as an alpha, but I will tell you, I mean, uh, as an early access title or something like that, but that's just words. The, obviously, the developers are hard at work on the title. I'm really excited to see this. I'm actually already really looking forward to my next playthrough, which will probably be as the Japanese, um, because it's obvious that there's, I mean, the game is just getting better and better, so the second playthrough should be just as good, if not better, than the first. And uh, one thing I haven't done is I've never played the Japanese campaign. I don't want to spoil it for myself at all. Um, I want it to be like a total surprise. I don't want to, actually, as the Americans, I didn't want to know the Japanese starting forces. I felt like that would be kind of cheating. So I intentionally didn't look anyway, but it'll be uh, just 
I won't know where the American forces are. At least I hopefully will have forgotten where my original forces were. Plus, I, st I did the tutorial on this, and I guess there's no tutorial side for the Japanese. They will actually start the game on December 8th or December 7th. Um, I don't know if they start before or after the Pearl Harbor bombing, so we'll find that out for ourselves. And these are definitely repairing. That's good. So, I can actually, I should be able to go over to Midway. That it says destroyed still, though. See, something is not working here. This is not repairing at all. Or does it only repair one at a time? Something's not quite right here. No, this one's this one's done. Huh. I'll be. Maybe it only works on one at a time. But it seems to be working on all the carrier ones. Does that mean the carriers will now auto repair? There's only one way we can find out. Oh, these guys don't. What? No, these guys haven't attacked anybody yet, so they shouldn't have any. Oh man, this is interesting. Really interesting. I guess. Okay, let's get this group underway. Pause real fast. I know that we're gonna go over 40 minutes, but let's just look. Dauntless, oh, these guys aren't ready yet. But that's fine, actually, this is the perfect example. So I want to make sure, I have enough war bonds, so I can probably add those uh, transports back, but before I do, let me, I mean, this might throw all that money away. It's gonna be a 10 difference from Dauntless to Helldiver. I still think it's worth it. So what I'm gonna do is swap out the Dauntlesses. I think all the Helldivers have already been swapped out. And then I'm just gonna get them underway right away. And we're gonna see what happens. And by see what happens, I mean that we're gonna see if these actually do repair underway. Which I'm not sure, I, I'm still not sure I actually agree with that. Cause you shouldn't be able to replenish, you should not be able to replenish your fighters unless you're in port. Or maybe this only repairs in port and that would be perfectly okay with me. But there's only one way we're gonna find out and that's by letting her try to repair on the road. So just note, um, I'm, this, this will be the last comment I, I make in this video so I can go back in future videos and rewind, just, I mean, go to this spot and look. So at the end of this episode, we have one, two, three, four, five, six Hellcats, which are almost done, and seven Helldivers, which are just completely destroyed, at destroyed status. Let's see what happens. So we have some which need a little bit of repairs and some which are completely destroyed. Let's see what happens when we send this guy over to Johnston Atoll, where you'll continue your repairs, but let's see what repairs you do underway. So we'll get that guy on their way. And in the next episode, it looks like we're gonna have a, another very quick engagement with Task Force 22, but they just wanna rack up all those uh, little combat ribbons and I guess I guess CTF Bravo is gonna be in striking distance of Truck Lagoon we're just gonna move directly to Truck Lagoon I think what will happen is we'll move this way we'll do whatever damage we can either move back to Marshall Islands or maybe move down the Solomon Islands and then the attack is gonna begin on New Guinea so we're gonna kind of stick to the historical route we're gonna move sweep closest to Australia up over to the Dutch East Indies. Ah, didn't, couldn't say that. Dutch East Indies. And who knows? Eventually MacArthur will give his famous lines, I have returned. It's all way ahead of us though, so until then, until the next episode, thanks for watching and take care.